Okay, Scuba Dan here from the ECF. I'm going to walk you guys through how a, well, actually give you guys a 100% no BS way on rolling a piece of stainless steel mesh for a wick um, using uh, rolling paper um, as an insulator. I'm still going to go ahead and uh, uh, roll it. Well, I'm going to add an extra fold to it, which actually. Uh, an eighth an inch fold at the bottom so when it sits in the well uh, there's no frayed edges that can short out to uh, the bottom of the stainless steel well so what I'm going to do is crease this and fold it so I got one eighth of an inch at the bottom it's folded turn it <coughs> fold over about three eighths of an inch quarter to three-eighths, somewhere in there. Steel rollers are great for helping to crease uh, the mesh. So now you've got two folded edges, one on the, across the bottom and then one across the side. So that way when you roll it, you're going to have no frayed edges across the bottom or the side. Okay, I'm going to use standard paper clip. Um, this is a 35 by 35 millimeter piece of stainless steel. While you guys are having trouble, um, might have an answer for you. Uh, when I roll it, I'm constantly stretching uh, from side to side. So I'm actually pulling the stainless steel a little bit longer than what it normally would be if it wasn't pulled. Get all the little pieces of frayed stainless steel off of here. Okay, so we're going to roll this up nice and tight. Get past that little bend. Okay, so before we get really to wrapping, that's kind of what it looks like. Much bigger than the hole in the uh, GTUS is. So where it sits down the well is going to be a little bit bigger. So you kind of see a distinguishing difference between where it sits in the hole and where the wick's actually wrapped. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull as I'm wrapping. What that does is help straighten the stainless steel and also makes it thinner. At least I think that's what is making it thinner to where it'll go through the hole. It's about the only thing different that I do that I can think of that would make it thin enough to go through the hole in the GTUS. All right, now that we got it to nice and thick at this end, thin at that end. Now we're going to go ahead and do a heat treat and just get the sucker nice and red hot. Starts to glow, you move on. stop using water I'm just using regular juice now and I'll light that on fire and burn out Again, and last time. Now, once 
balance this out. Might be a little bit warm, but not too bad. Now we're going to cut a little strip of paper. This is really thin paper, too. So I'm going to go about a quarter inch wide and about a half an inch, three eighths of an inch long, somewhere in there. Now we're going to do is wrap this around. Just like that. And we're going to start at the base. And we're going to wrap our uh, wire around it. And you get a piece of canthal. Start right at the base. And I usually give it six wraps. That's just me. Alright, now what I'm going to do is take these and kind of just cross them so that way it doesn't unravel. And this wick is ready to be installed. And now I'll take this off and throw it with my other bag of wicks that I've got. And these will be going with me down to vape stock. So that way I'm going to kind of, I guess, help show people or if they need a wick, I've got a wick for them, they can slap in and try out. So the next thing you're going to do is mount that to your G tank. Um, you're going to put a little bit of juice on the wick. You're going to go ahead and fire it a couple of times and you just keep firing it, pulsing it until all the juice is gone and your wick glows. Once the wick glows, it'll burn the paper off. And then um, after that, once the paper's gone, then you're just going to go ahead and fill your tank up, rewet your wick, and start using it. Uh, pretty easy. I, I've done about probably five wicks and I've had stable constant ohms rating every time um, I have no have not had any shorts yet um, and it's just, it's been working great uh, matter of fact anyway this uh, has just been working phenomenally I mean you can tell I'm almost out of juice but I mean, I've got them through a tank, and this this is how it's been. The vapor's been produced. Hang on. Just fantastic. I mean, great hit every single time. And I'm almost out of juice. You gotta love that. Anyway, see you guys in Florida. Scoop Bad Dan out.